Hello, welcome to Enlightened Word Save Souls. Today I am bringing you another devotion. And the topic of this devotion is called Soundness of Health. I will be coming from 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. One of the areas Satan likes to take advantage of God's people is in their health. Thus in keeping yourself in health, the first thing you need to consciously recognize is that the word of God is pure medicine. Meditating on the word will keep you in soundness of health, spirit, soul, and body. Every day, Meditate on the word. Don't wait for the trouble to strike before you start trying to meditate on the word. Meditate on the word ahead of the evil day. Something else you need that's of equal importance is the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit about what you eat and how you treat your body. Such things aren't too trivial for him to give you clear guidance about. Trust him. He'll teach you how to be wise about food. It's God's will and desire for you to be healthy and strong. That's why besides teaching and guiding you on the things to do to keep your body in health, he also permeabulates in you toward off sickness, disease, and infirmities from your body. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk perambulant in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Praise God. And that's the end of the devotion for today. But here is a little prayer I would like to pray for us all. Dear Heavenly Father, your word is medicine for our body and health to every fiber of our being. We perpetually healthy and strong. And now we pray for your children around the world who are sick in their bodies that your healing power will surge through them now, healing their bodies and getting rid of the flu the migraine, the cancer, or any infirmity in their bodies in Jesus' name. Now, before I go, I'm going to extend out an invitation to those that have not received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. In the book of Romans, it says, Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus died for everyone. He was the ultimate sacrifice and God rose him on the third day and he is alive today. Sitting on the right hand side of the Father with all power and victory. Even if you don't see him, but you heard about him. Please pray this prayer after me with faith and belief in your heart. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of the living God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I receive by faith eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I believe I receive eternal life. I am born again. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer, believe me in you. God has heard you. And he has answered you. And you are saved. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
into the kingdom of God. Now you can experience the health and wealth in God that it is his will for you to be healthy and strong and be wealthy at the same time. Until next time, have a wonderful and blessed day.